The way they are behaving in your reality is because of the way you think about them. It is a hard pill to swallow, but it is what it is. It is what Neville Goddard mentions in his lectures. I first came across this concept when I was watching videos on the Create Your Future channel. I am talking about the old days when only Amanda used to make the videos. She explained the concept of everyone as you pushed out, which made a lot of sense to me. If you get hold of this concept, you will know the secrets to creating your reality. Even before knowing about the law of assumption, you were told by people around you to not think badly about another and to not curse another in your mind. You were told not to think negatively in your mind. I am sure the majority of people know this even before knowing about the law. But, have you ever wondered why it was said? Have you wondered the reason behind it? Well, in my opinion, when you think negatively about someone, you behave differently towards them, you only focus on their negative side and that creates a negative outcome in the form of broken relationships. You never try to look at another side of them, and that creates a negative assumption about them. This is the straightforward answer. But, in the manifestation community, this message is conveyed in the form of a concept known as everyone is you pushed out. In other words, it is referred to as everyone is a reflection of you. Now, it does not mean that people are reflecting you. It does not mean that if the other person is behaving rudely towards you, then you are also rude. It only means that the assumptions you hold about others are reflected back to you. It means that you have formed several assumptions about them and that they are reflecting those assumptions back to you. Assumptions are formed when you get a thought in your mind and indulge in that thought. Indulging in those thoughts negatively or positively forms an assumption in your mind. According to Neville Goddard, these thoughts and assumptions are reaching another person. For example, if you think Susan always greets me warmly, then Susan gets the idea to greet you warmly the next time you meet them. It is that simple. I know there will be people who will say that it didn't work for them. They tried guided meditation and affirmations. But still, Susan didn't even make eye contact with them. I know it feels frustrating. It happens, and I will tell you why it happens. Well, our reality is the sum total of all the assumptions we hold. Now this means that there are other assumptions too that might be blocking the thought of Susan greeting you warmly. You have countless assumptions. You have assumptions about yourself, your friends, your family, your partner, your neighbors, religious bodies, and strangers. You may even have assumptions about men and women. You have assumptions about how they behave, and this forms your reality. Some women are too focused on saying that men are cheaters, and they end up having cheaters, their lives get surrounded by cheaters. In the same scenarios, there are men who say women are gold diggers, and they get what they assume. But I have seen men who are not cheaters and women who are not gold diggers. Now, where are they? Well, they are in the lives of people who haven't formed the assumption that men are cheaters and women are gold diggers. These are some general assumptions. Like this, people hold all sorts of assumptions, from general to specific. They are making many assumptions. In all these assumptions, there are opposing assumptions too. For example, Susan might be making the assumption that Victor doesn't love her. Victor calls her sometimes, but he has never expressed love for her. Now if Susan, in her mind, tried to transmit her thought to Victor by saying that Victor tells me that he loves me by calling me, then Victor might call her but not tell her that he loves her. It is because Susan has no opposing assumptions about Victor calling her. But she has strong, opposing assumptions that Victor doesn't love her. Now, when some people start working on their self-concept, they start changing their assumptions. They get their old ex back. Their old ex-partners text them and wants to hang out with them. This old ex is not their specific person. Now, this means that when you changed your assumptions, the world around you started changing and reflecting it back to you. Your specific person might not have texted you because you might have some opposing story about them in your mind. Everyone creates some stories in their mind. This is very natural. I had this story that I am a highly valuable bachelor, and marriage proposals started showing up in my reality. It is just like when you create stories in your mind, opportunities start showing up. When people want to date, they start thinking about dating and relationships. People start showing up in their reality. Maybe their friends will all of a sudden start introducing them to a single person who is also looking for a partner. Maybe they will meet someone at the gym. Maybe they meet someone at some party. All of this happens because reality reflects your assumptions back to you. Now, what do you have to do if you are in situations where your reality is not conforming? Well, the answer is very simple, and it is to form new assumptions. Don't start digging up your past assumptions. Start by forming new assumptions, and the best way to form new assumptions is to get on a mental diet. By mental diet, I simply mean observing your thoughts, observing your mind, and observing the kind of story you are playing in your mind. Observing where your focus is going. When you start observing the activity of your mind as a watcher, you will know all kinds of tricks that your mind plays. You will know that you are actually thinking against your desires. You are actually thinking against your wishes. 
Now, when you catch yourself doing so, just start creating a new story. If, in your mind, you come across a thought pattern that says, Sally doesn't want to talk to me, that is why she is ignoring me, and she hates me a lot, and that is why she has blocked me. This is a negative assumption, this is a negative statement, and this is the opposing story that needs to be changed as soon as you witness it. I can bet you have stories about everyone you have met. If I ask you to take a piece of paper and write about a person from your reality, you will just fill the paper with your story about them. The story is just your assumptions. When you look at this story, you will know where you are focusing, where your attention is moving. This is the story that is keeping you away from your desire. It is your duty to change it. It is your duty to go on a mental diet and witness your thoughts and your story. I want to ask you, if you can't even think positively about your person, then why do you want to even be with them? If you can't forgive yourself or someone else for their past mistakes, then why do you even want to be with them? If you can't even generate loving thoughts, then why do you want to be with them? Don't take manifestation from your ego, just understand yourself, and you will only do it by observing yourself. Keep your self-concepts high, remove opposing stories about your specific person, and then see the magic. There was a woman named Donna who broke her engagement and moved to a different city to live alone. Twenty years passed, and she suddenly saw his man's picture in a local newspaper, and after twenty years, she got this desire to be with him again. In a few months, she got him back and got married to him. Click on the first video that appears at the end of the screen to learn what she did.